Well, I don't think that's the only thing else that's also roasting because this Absolutely. I'm roasting when I step outside. I'm sure everybody else is. It's still hot out there. Thank God for clouds because we've had a couple of those move in in the last couple of hours. And when you have that one little cloud go over your area, it makes that 99 feel so much better, doesn't it? It's still hot, but if you could get out and enjoy it, it's still a beautiful day out there. We hit 102 today, the hottest August reading at the Sunport ever recorded. Uh, and we had a low, though, that was very close to our average low. So why is that? Why do we have such a large gap? That's because of the dry air we have in place. The dry air is able to heat and cool more efficiently. And in Albuquerque, our dew points in the 30 tells us that we have a lot of dry air in place. The exception is northeast New Mexico. We're watching a couple of these severe storms that could clip Union County, but otherwise the rest of us are mostly dry and partly cloudy, and that's going to stay the, the same way about overnight tonight. Here's your predicted low temperatures. Again, we'll cool more efficiently tonight, so we're predicting 50s in Taos and Las Vegas, as well as Raton. Grants and Gallup, you'll be a part of the 50s club as well. Albuquerque will be in the low 70s, and even Roswell, Hobbs, Carlsbad, all around the same, around 75 tomorrow morning. Now, as we head into tomorrow, it's going to be the same areas that have the same chance of showers and thunderstorms. About a 10% chance for the Sacramento Mountains and the eastern slopes there and the northeastern part of the state. Otherwise, everyone will deal with the heat. Looking at our high rise future cast continuing overnight tonight, we'll have to watch the northeastern tip of New Mexico for that thunderstorm chance. We do it again tomorrow afternoon for a couple of chances of thunderstorms here. Clayton, maybe even near Carl's and Hobbs, but that's really Carlsbad and Hobbs. I said Carl's Carlsbad and Hobbs, but Otherwise, the rest of us will be dry. Going into Monday is going to be a red flag day. Now, we will have a little more moisture try to work in here as we get toward the afternoon hours. I think along and south of I-40 is that best chance. But now for the north central mountains, a fire weather watch has already been issued. We're going to have a lot of dry air in place and winds will kick up a touch on Monday, gusting around 30 to 35 miles per hour. This is almost reminiscent to me of the spring wildfire season. That's the feeling we're going to have as we get toward Monday afternoon. As we get toward Tuesday, that moisture will continue to slightly increase in the western part of the state and the southwestern part of the state. But nevertheless, it's still going to be very hot statewide. If there's any good news, I've been showing this map continuously for the last several days, and I like showing this because this gives us a gauge of what we have to look forward to in six to 10 days. If you sh saw me yesterday, you know that I showed this map and it had this below average uh, readings all over New Mexico. The new forecast today from the Climate Prediction Center has shifted that west and has a little bit of parts of the northeastern part of the state getting above average chances of precipitation. I like to see that. I hope that continues to push westward across the state and we can get some rain chances in here to slightly cool us down because 104 and staying in the triple digits for Roswell for the next seven days is harsh. I'll tell you that. At least we have a 10% chance each afternoon of a shower or thunderstorm. At least the increase in clouds helps too. 104 for truth or consequences tomorrow. That includes Elephant Butte, so a hot day at the lake expected for the northwest and the Four Corners region. Durango, upper 80s. Otherwise, 95 for Chinle, Arizona, 94 for Grants, Farmington back up into the 90s. Now we will take a step down a few degrees as we get toward next week. Still going to be in the low to mid 90s though. A little breezy for the North Mountains at times tomorrow. Gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Highs around 90 for Taos, 95 for the Española Valley. Santa Fe will make it up into the low 90s tomorrow with only about a 10% chance of a sprinkle in the afternoon. A high around 92 for your Sunday. Stepping down to about a 90 for Monday. Again, a red flag day with those breezy conditions. Staying in the 80s and 90s for the Northeast tomorrow, and that's because of a little bit of moisture that might stick around in the Northeast tomorrow afternoon. East Mountains highs there mainly in the 90s, and in the Metro, it's going to be another triple digit day. Unfortunately, we could break another record is what we're expecting. Highs around 100 on average. Rio Rancho may stay just below that around 98, and Albuquerque, we're going to be staying in the 90s for this whole next week.